Welcome back to another week and another episode. I am co-hosting on the Fragrant Lawyers channel and today he is going to be talking about the best fragrances for bartenders. I'm so excited. I've not seen some of these. So first of all, what made you, like what makes up a good fragrance for a bartender? So Carm, you know, bartenders need to have a couple of very important attributes. Number one, you got to be social. You need to be friendly. That's all together. You're going to meet as a bartender people from all different walks of life. You're actually be, going to become a therapist often because people are going to come to you with their problems. And for those of you who are already bartenders, you know this. You need to be quick on your feet, quick with your hands, listen very clearly. So I think, you know, having an all-round personality, being quite outgoing and social is the key. You know what? When Before we get into the fragrances that I pick, I pick Carm, I want to talk about something that actually I, you gave me over Christmas. Yes, I did. And, and, and it was a good choice? Absolutely. Yay. This is Dalmore Single Malt, okay? And it's from the... Uh, cigar barrel really i guess what they call it it's it, it, it's it's the cigar malt actually for this i've had this before i love it you know delmore is is an excellent uh um uh, scotch house i love their products uh it's not a scotch video it's a fragrance video but i had to show you because you gave me that and i want to bring it out and we're talking about bartending yes so that's there and certainly we'll crack crack that open a little a little later on so well, the way I look at fragrances for bartenders is this. You're surrounded by scents of liquor, okay? You know, you're pouring vodka, you're pouring tequila, there's spills. Those scents are in the air. Some of it is very aromatic. Some of it could be a little harsher. So the scents I picked, they all have really liquor notes to them. Okay. And they're very pleasing liquor notes. So you wear that, particularly on the wrist, and you lean over and you pass that drink. Your patron's going to get a smell of that. Uh, whoever your server is going to get a smell of that you're actually more attractive to the people you serve and i think you're going to in fact get more tips i think it's almost like it's intoxicating uh, good, good word <laughs> it is intoxicating it. and you know when i think of bartenders it, they're already aesthetically you know any facility that hires a bartender they're looking for all of those personality traits, aesthetics, um, you know, body language, everything. But yet you add that element of scent. And as they're passing me the drink, male or female, and I, oh my God, it just takes it up a notch, right? So I love Absolutely. that. Make sure patron want to drink a little more. <laughs> yeah, and spend a little more. So what are we starting with? All right, we're going to start with one of my favorites. Actually, I'm wearing this today. This is Establish Cognac number 66 Ooh. by the house of Kriegler. Now it's an American house. Um, it is, you can pick it up online from their house. And I think at the Park Plaza Hotel in New York, they have a booth over there. And I think that's where I probably grab this one. Uh, I'm gonna get you, if you wanna smell, the, I'm wearing yes. it today, but here, why don't you is try it, it on? Can I try it on? Absolutely. And I, while you're doing and that, I'll talk about I, the notes. I love that it, it looks like oh. a glass of alcohol. Right. If you get that, like if I spray that on my shirt, I'm going to have a bit of a stain on there. You spray it on you. And you tell me what, what you think. Wrist, yeah, just spray it one spray. Let us wave it and take a good smell. What do you oh think? Oh, my gosh. Boozy? <laughs> Total. But, you know, it's, it's, it's sweet. Yes. Almost like you can smell the liqueur. Yeah, absolutely. And it almost has a licorice. Is like there licorice in here? Does it smell like cognac to you? It's, yes. it's to represent cognac. So oh, wow. notes are this. Look, mm. we've got some apple. We've got cedar wood. And of course, we have cognac-related <sighs> notes. We have oak, which is going to give it that woody smell. And we've got some patchouli. Yes. This is a fragrance that um, I find is very classy. Jazz bar. You know, if, yes. you, if you're bartending in, in an upscale bar or a jazz bar or at a hotel bar, for example, you got to wear this. Kriegler 66, sorry, established contact, yes. Cognac 66 <laughs> by Kriegler. Yeah. This is the one that you got to wear. And and I, I tell you, it just, it lasts. It's very smooth. You're going to get a lot of comments. And look, it's it is pow it, I it's have powerful. to say, it is powerful. Now, I just did a down. little, but you know, and it's like, ooh, yeah, now, you know, I'm in uh, day 16 of my <laughs> no alcohol. So now oh. this is making me want... A cold ice 
to cognac. <laughs> well, cognac. Well, this heat, is the closest I'm going to get to it. So. You're going to heat up your cognac okay. with a glass. Ah. And then you're going to put it in, not ice. But I tell you what, if you smell this in, in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it calms down. Mm, it becomes good. very royal. Right at the beginning, it's a little boozy, and that's fine. That is what it's supposed to do. It's going to settle into a wonderful, classy, mm. jazz bar like scent. Love it. Now, next. Look, what is this? We cut well. This one here. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the small Ooh, one. Okay. Now, uh, this. That's I, an interesting package. Well, I have. I have a big bottle, but I also have these little atomizers that I can put them in because it, this is by. Kill, it's called by Killian. Actually, by Killian. And okay. this is vodka on the rocks. Spray your other hand with this one. Oh and my you're gonna god! Smell like, I want some you're gonna smell like booze when we're done oh this video. Oh my gosh! You. So right. this is. Can you fill this? Uh, so you buy you buy that the little uh, atomizers that are that go in there. So they they already okay. fill it. They fill it for you actually. But I have a bunch of those. Now tell me if you do not smell vodka. Oh. It's so distinct mm -hmm. from this scent. Yes. Um, I'm preferring this. Uh -huh. Why is that? Is I tell it, you, it's lighter. Is, okay. It's, it's lighter. So Ooh, this again, so vodka nice. on the rocks by Killian is is yes, the fragrance two thousand and fourteen. You've got cardamom, you've got aldehydes. You're smelling the aldehydes at the beginning. Uh, you've got rose, lily of the valley, and you've got some leather that it goes in. I think there's some rhubarb there as well. Ooh. This actually reminds me, there was a fragrance way back, I think Abercrombie Fitch had a, a, a cologne called Fierce. I think this is the step up from Fierce, but it has those types of vibes. I do smell the, a high-end vodka in this. Um, I, I love the weight. Like this thing is is I, it must be metallic. The packaging, the detail, the scent, really really cool. And you know what I was thinking? If somebody, if if I was with the bartender and I said, "What are you wearing?" and they said, "Vodka on the rocks," I said, "I didn't ask what you're drinking." <laughs> I would have like you know, it's one of those play on words. Who's on first? But I think that's really cool. Now listen, if you, it's obviously you know, if you put alcohol on your skin, the vodka is going to dry your skin. It's not going to smell the same way. You're going to smell very. Too boozy. Yeah. This, though, I think for a bartender, when you're mixing drinks, you've got that vodka out there. This is so, very alluring. People will smell it on your wrist, and it's got a slight sweetness to it. So I, I think men or women could certainly wear vodka on the rocks by the house of By Killian. Love it. All Last right. but not least. There's a fragrance, and look how much I've used. You can tell I like this one. Yeah. This is called 1270 from the house of Frappin, a French style. Now, you, uh, you, you've you got the back of your hand. Try this lovely fragrance. Give uh, it a try. 1270. 1270. I love how each of these alcohol-infused fragrances actually look like that, right? So, back of the hand. Okay, I got some there. Oh. <laughs> I can't even guess which alcohol okay. is in here. This is fruity. Okay, so the oh. notes here and Frappin, uh, I believe they're a cognac house as well. So uh, they These start. They smell like drinks. They, they like they, they, but they high quality, do. Yes. high quality drinks, right? Okay. Oh, boutique. pineapple boutique. Pineapple plum. You've got tonka bean and you've got orange, and then you start getting into some coffee notes. You've got hazelnut notes that will come in later on with lime and some florals and it's going to dry down you're going to have some honey notes come out of there mm. uh you are going to have some woods some vanilla and gayak wood a lot of notes in this in this in this uh, fragrance they have an extreme version as well i have not smelt the extreme version but i've smelt this regular one absolutely love it this is more for the fruity drinks okay right. now this fragrance here by frappin will not last as long as the other two the other two are Beasts, the 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 cognac, the established cognac, especially oh, yes. vodka on the rocks will last. This is very pleasing, but you know if you've got an eight to ten hour shift, you might have to reapply the frappin. It, it, but it is it, it's more fruity. I think that pineapple alluring. You, let's say you know you're mixing some interesting cocktails. You know mm -hmm. more of the Caribbean style cocktails and so on and so forth. Frappin's gonna do you very well when you reach over and hand that drink. You're gonna get a lot of compliments. People are going to want to be around you and stay at your area of the bar. And that's exactly what you want because you're going to get more tips that way. Yeah. Well, Nanish, I know that you I have been reviewing and 
typically review higher end niche fragrances. For those who are watching, where would uh, yeah. they get these fragrances? You often are getting them, like you said, in New York or, or in Italy or somewhere. Sure. Um, is there a place that they can uh, get these, their yeah. hands on these? So the first one is the most expensive, okay? okay. Established cognac. Uh, this bottle here probably is is over six hundred dollars. Okay. This little bottle here, and that you can get online. Is that USD or um, Canadian? Uh, probably USD. Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you can get it online. Get it from New York uh, Kriegler. Okay. The next one, vodka on the rocks. You can get the size that I got, which I have a bunch of those. Are smaller, not crazy price. That small one, you're probably you know maybe you're in the hundred somewhere for that. Okay. It's not a lot, and you don't yet need a, a lot. But you, you don't need a lot. But a hundred, yet for some people who have who spend a hundred, they're getting a full seventy mil. So it's still a, a decently priced fragrance, but affordable. Yeah, affordable, yes. decently priced. Yes. This one here, uh, the Frappen nowadays is quite affordable. I think online you can get it for less than two hundred dollars, maybe okay. one fifty, one seventy. You can get online now. Um, I think you can go to their actual house, Fragrance Buy, Fragrance Net, Lucky Scent. Mm -hmm. They all carry um, uh, the Frappan fragrance. Um, the original, I mean, it might be sold out. A lot of people do like it. It was a cult classic way back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just got to keep trying and you can get that. So I think these are the ones that I would say for bartenders, you want to show some class. You want to you wanna show that you're very social, get people to come close to you, give you that hug, yes. shake, shake your hand. This, these are the fragrances I think that you would do well by as a bartender. I love that. And I think, uh, hey, another idea, if you're looking to apply as a bartender, then wear this scent and you might get the job. <laughs> yes, don't don't go drink, don't go when you drunk this. Yeah, no, no, go not Go when all. you've worn uh, uh, the fragrances, not not when you've had the drink. I and I think you, you, you'll be, you'll, you know, and, and Karin, this is what we're going to do. What? I'm going to start reviewing different professions. Oh, okay, yeah, today let's we, do that. we did bartending. We're gonna we're gonna get into taxi, Uber, whatever. Emergency profession. services, medical fragrances for yeah. everybody. Construction guys. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Woo! I love it. Absolutely. So, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I answer every comment. Um, sometimes it takes me a day, sometimes a week. Uh, just I'm busy with the law practice often, but I promise I will get to it. So and I do enjoy that engagement. Please follow on TikTok. So uh, my TikTok station is sort of just beginning. It's kind of brand new. And uh, the Fragrant Lawyer TikTok station, please follow. Please follow on Instagram. I would really appreciate that as well. Yeah. And uh, Carm, obviously follow uh, Carm as well. She's the celebrity matchmaker. <laughs> and we work together on, yes. these, on these videos. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I, also in the description, you're going to find a link for one click. Yes. Often you've been hearing uh, Danish discussing that. It is how we get our message out with our videos and helps distribute to all of these different platforms. In the description, you will find our email, contact, and all the ways that you can follow and support Nanish and myself. Thank you. And I wish we opened this bottle. I'll just say cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> we'll see you next week.